Okay, now we're back again. And um, before we go on to method 1b, I just should add that um, we blithely took the square root of this, but of course the square root of a squared plus b squared plus a will, as long as b is non-zero, will always be a positive number. So this is the square root, so x will be real. So let's go on to method 1b now. And method 1b doesn't use uh, uh, this equation here, so we get that, 1b. Um, what it does is it uses uh, this equation here, uh, y equals b over 2x, and we put that into equation 1 here. So we replace y by that. So when we do that, we will get x squared minus y squared, which will be b squared over 4x squared minus a, we shift the a across, equals 0. Now that looks a bit fierce, but if we multiply this equation by 4x squared, then we'll get 4x squared times x squared, so that's 4x to the fourth, and then we'll have minus b squared, and then we'll have minus 4a x squared. Well, this doesn't look very good, but in fact, it's because it's a fourth order equation, but in fact, it only has even powers, so that this is actually a quadratic equation for x squared. So we can solve those. So we can find x squared. x squared is equal to, we use the formula for the solution of a quadratic, is equal to minus the coefficient of the linear term, so that's 4a. And then we'll have plus or minus the square root of Uh, the coefficient of x squared all squared, which will be 16a squared, plus 4 times this times this, which will be, or minus 4 times that, which will be plus 16b squared, and then divided by twice the coefficient of the quadratic term, which is 2, Sorry, it's 8, so let's rub that out. Find the eraser here. Rub that out. Get the pen back again. And multiply, divide that by 8. Well, we can see that we can take a factor 4 out of this, which will cancel with, will go, divide into the 8 as will this 4, so the result will be x squared is equal to a plus or minus the square root of a squared plus b squared divided by 2. Now if we look at that, uh, which sign do we choose? Well, we've decided that x has to be real, so the right-hand side can't be negative. Well, if we look at uh, the size of these things, then the square root of a squared plus b squared will always be numerically greater than a, whatever it is, so that tells us we have to choose the positive sign. So we do that, and that's equal to a plus the square root of a squared plus b squared divided by 2. And if we go back to method 1a, we saw that that's exactly what x squared was here. x squared was a plus the square root of a squared plus b squared divided by 2. So, that's, so the rest, of course, is the same. So x is the same, and we use uh, the second equation to find y. 
with them. So it gives the same result. So that's method 1b. So I think we'll pause the show and we'll come back for the third part where we'll do method 2.